the store and online, the question's always raised with us, Revo, Outback. Outback, Revo. Both have very, very different applications on the water. The Outback, it's like a, a small barge in the fleet. 33 inches wide, 12 foot one, very, very solid in the water, super stable, 181 kilos carrying. Ideal for your fishing trips of north to five kilometers. Inside estuaries like here and rivers and in the more sheltered areas of Western Port and Port Phillip Bay. The Revolution 13 is one of the slickest boats in the fleet. 13 foot six long, 28 and a half inches wide, really, really cruises through the water at enormous speed. And you can tell by just looking at the way they come off the nose is where the Revolution 13 gets its speed. Whereas the Outback comes more to its width a lot quicker. The Revolution 13 can carry a payload of 159 kilos and really suits people up to 6'3", 6'4". The Outback has a 181 kilo payload and carrying capacity. And that'll suit people up to, you know, we've had people up to 6'5", go into the Outback. If trips and traveling up river systems where you need to carry swags, tents, or a lot of gear, this boat can handle that sort of capacity. Similar to the Sport, it has really organized, you can really organize your fishing gear on the rails. You can work out of a stowage hatch there and the twist and stow locker inside. The Revolution, much thinner rails. So organizing rod holders and fishing, you need to really plan what you're going to do. You can work also out of good storage pockets either side here and here. And if paddling and pedaling is part of what you want to explore, the Revolution 13 with these much narrower rails paddles really, really well. Both have large in, in hull storage through the front hatches, but the Outback has a seriously much bigger cargo area on the rear. If you want to improve the performance of the Outback, we always recommend that you do an upgrade to turbo fins and a larger rudder. You'll find that it, it then, when you get into a chop like it's building up today, you'll handle the conditions really well. The Revolution 13 just becomes a super speed machine with turbo fins and a larger rudder. And you can definitely travel those trips up to 20 and 30 kilometers. Stability wise, I still find the Revolution 13 really stable, but you can stand up comfortably in an Outback once you've got your sea legs. All in all, both kayaks have specific areas and if you were considering something where you do want to do some offshore fishing, I would recommend that you head towards the Revolution 13. If you would like to test drive these kayaks or any other kayaks in the Hobie range, you can call our store in Inverloch or visit our website at rodbendingsworld.com and book your free test drive.